Hi everybody, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a fun card to share with you today. Today we're going to be using the Daisy Delight stamp set and we're using the Delightful Daisy Designer Series paper that's in the um, current catalog, the one that ends at the end of May. And we're going to do something called a triple fold card with our Designer Series paper. I saw this, I was introduced to this last week uh, by Rhonda Wade on her um, Facebook Live and I just thought it was a really fun way to use designer series paper so I'm incorporating it in some of my cards this month and I'm going to share it with you today. So we are going to be using Peekaboo Peach as our card base and embellishment. I've got the Peekaboo Peach seam binding ribbon um, and the Peekaboo Peach is a retiring in color so if you want Peekaboo Peach um, I'm not sure what's left of it but uh, you might be able to get some of that fun stuff. Uh, the reason I'm using it is that it coordinates with the color in the designer series paper and so see it folds up like this but let me show you how I put it together I'll show you how that triple fold goes together okay so uh, I'm starting with a quarter sheet of cardstock I've already die cut a scalloped oval in two scalloped circles and then I've got my 12 inches of designer series paper now I scored this so that I could do three folds on the paper and I will put the exact measurements of how I scored it um, with my Simply Score tool when I post it on the newsletter next week. So if you don't already subscribe to my Show and Tell newsletter, um, you can do that below and this tutorial along with its link to its Word document for its recipe card and all the measurements will be on that. So that's a free newsletter. Um, comes out every Tuesday and there's the previous week's show and tell news and their PDF tutorials on there. So, so do you see how I just folded all that up? So I've got my one big panel in the back, then I've got a smaller panel here, and then I have an extra panel there. Okay, so this is a little bit different than the one I saw. Um, the one I saw actually went this way with folds, the long way, but I altered it a bit to go this way. So now we're going to use our liquid Tombow glue to put some of those folded sections together. So I'm just going to open it here and I'm going to apply some liquid glue in here and then I'm just going to fold it back on itself and give that a good crease. Okay, so that created one flap. And then I'm going to do the same thing here on the front. Fold that back. Okay, and then this whole thing, see I got two folds there, is going to get mounted on my cardstock. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the Tombow for this as well. You could also use your snail. I just found it easy today to use the Tombow. So I'm just going to center this on my mount. So that kind of creates a frame for the card. So, I've got three folds. Now, on the first one I made, I actually mounted it out in white, and I left my fold loose on the front when I put my ribbon on. So there was one, and then two, and then three sections. But on the second one I did, I decided I wanted this to be a little thicker. So when I put my ribbon on, I tied those first two folds together. So I'm going to do that again. So options there. You know, you could always put another one on the front panel, but I'm opting to do it this way today. Okay, so I'm going to cut myself 20 inches of ribbon or so for the seam binding. That's going to give me enough to wrap it around the cardstock through the inside to the front, tack it down, and then have enough ribbon to do a bow. So let me cut my seam binding. So sometimes people say, how much, how much, how do you know how much to cut? Well, I always say five times the width you want to wrap. So for example, here would be four inches and then eight, that's two sections. And then I want three more, one, two, three. So five times four is 20 inches. So that's how I figured that out. Now, that took me many years to figure out, by the way. So I'm telling you. So now I just want to make it about halfway and I'm going to put a glue dot down on this front section, kind of in the middle, 
And I'm just going to bring my seam binding up and tie a knot and then attach it to that glue dot. And that's just going to help me anchor it so that I can tie my bow. Okay, so I just anchor that to my glue dot. And then I'm just going to do my bunny ear bow. So I take my seam binding and make two loops. And I cross them and tie my knot and pull. Okay, and now you can work that bow before you tighten that knot. Now I'm going to anchor the tails of my bow so that I can pull on the ears of my bow to make it tighter. But I don't want to go too tight until I have it really the size I want. And if you think about it this way, you actually want to make your bow a little bit smaller than you want it to end up when you anchor the tails just so that you have um, length to uh, pull your bow. So see, I fluffed that bow and so I just kept anchoring and pulling and tugging until I got it where I wanted it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and trim off the tails. So I put them together and I just trim them off. All right, so there's the base of my card. Now we're gonna add our ovals and do a little stamping and we'll be good to go. Okay, so today I am stamping with Memento Black and I'm using the stamps from the Daisy Delight set. So on the front one, I'm stamping the Your Thoughtfulness Brightened My Day. So I'm going to stamp that here. Now the reason I'm stamping it offside is so I can stamp the flower images around it. And then on the inside, I'm only going to stamp the thank you for your kindness. I'm going to ink that up on my memento. Now this one's going to go more in the middle. Because I can see through my clear block, I can know the positioning. So that's why I was able to cut those ovals first. If you prefer, you can stamp them and then cut them out on your oval with your oval Big Shot dies. Okay, so now we're going to stamp um, the small daisy from the set. I'm going to do it three times, and I'm just kind of coming around the words. Oh, I missed. Let's see if I can... Okay, I'll live with it. I was going to say, flip it over, because cardstock has two sides. I can start fresh, but I landed it pretty well. So it's a little bit dark, but I'm going to live with it. Okay, so I'm going to do three daisies. And then I'm going to come back and add the outline of the leaf. And I'm just kind of marrying the leaf up to the daisy image. Now there is a stem in the sh in this set. So you could stamp stems. I just opted not to today. I'm just going with flowers and leaves. Okay, and I'm going to add one more leaf. So, all right. So there's all my memento stamping. Now I'm going to come in with the coordinating colors. So for the daisy itself, I'm using Peekaboo Peach. And that's because uh, the cardstock actually says it has Calypso Coral in it. But if you go a shade lighter, you get to the peekaboo peach. So I'm using the peekaboo peach. One, because it's retiring and I wanted to use it some more. Two, because I like peekaboo peach a lot and I have the ribbon coordinate. So work with what you have to make things coordinate and come together for you. And remember, the colors in our color families are um, sometimes shades of each other. So you can use them together or in coordination. All right, so I just stamped the full daisy image over the top of the black and white daisy. And now I'm going to use Tranquil Tide for the leaf, because believe it or not, Tranquil Tide is a coordinating color. You don't see it much in this paper. It's kind of this soft leaf here in the paper. So I'm going to stamp off ink before I stamp it down. So I'm going to stamp it off a couple of times so it's lighter. And then I'm just coming in and adding color to my stamped image. And I'm going to repeat that each time. And we got one more. Okay. So, let me show you how I put these ovals on now. So, here's the finished one. Here's the one we're working on. 
So first I'm going to go ahead and layer, I'm going to use snail this time, I'm going to go ahead and layer the stamped with the daisies. I'm going to put that on my scalloped oval. And now I'm going to take two dimensionals and I'm going to put it on the back right over here on the left hand side. And then I'm just going to bring that down and I'm putting that on that first well actually it's the second folded section out that we that we tied together. But I'm putting that there. Okay? And you can kind of work your bow if you want it to go behind, you could work it behind, but I actually kind of want it frilly, so we're gonna leave it out. Okay, now I have my inside one, right? That has to go behind, so I'm gonna put some snail on that. Now there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could eyeball it. Right, so you could just line it up underneath and press it down. The other way you could do it is if you flip it over, make sure your words are going the way you want, you could put this down on that oval and then fold your card to it. I know some of you are in trouble thinking about that abstractly, but you saw me do it, so you see what I did. And then it's there on the inside, directly behind your front flap, so it's like a peekaboo card. Okay. And then we're going to stamp um, some of those daisies and leaves on our envelope because if you're going to stamp a card, you should stamp the envelope. So I'm going to put a couple of daisies here, kind of willy-nilly. I'm going to go ahead and add the peach over the top. And then I think for the leaf, instead of stamping the black leaf and then the solid leaf. I'm just going to stamp the solid leaf, but I am going to go ahead and stamp it off so it's not too dark. I'm just going to have these feed in from the top. Maybe one from the side. So, just something different and fun. All right, give your mailman your uh, little surprise in the mail, and your recipient will be happy to have a cheerful envelope in the mail, something other than just the bills we always get, right? Some fun mail. So there you go guys, there's our stamp and show and tell for the day. Um, I'm actually making this as a demo swap with my upline, multiple uplines going up the chain here with my Stampin' Up! demonstrator ship. So if you need to order any materials before they retire, get busy because things are going quickly. And new catalogs are coming out June 1st. I'll be getting mine soon. If you need one, please contact me. I'm happy to provide you with one. Um, and if you have any questions, check out the newsletter. Just subscribe below. So as always, I'd love a thumbs up. Give me a great comment. Uh, ask a question. I will get back to you. And until our next Stampin' Day, have a wonderful day of it. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.